Today, I am living out my dream of being a teenager in a John Hughes film. Hey guys, it's Kraken. My name is Maddie if you don't know me, so hi, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I know it's prom season and it's really disappointing this year because proms around the world and in the United States and everywhere, if you even have proms, have been canceled or postponed, which is disappointing. Obviously, there's a lot worse happening, but it's bummer. It's really unfortunate, especially for class of 2020 because they never got to have their senior prom, which is really disappointing. I actually was not gonna go to prom this year because I am not a senior. At my school, it's seniors only. I went last year because my boyfriend was a senior and I was a sophomore. But anyways, it's disappointing. And my parents always talk about how great high school was for them in the 80s and how it was like perfect and it was really like the rom-coms that you see and I'm just like, guys, shut up. <laughs> I love you, but please stop. So today I'm gonna be recreating my mom's prom photos Let's get started. Hello and welcome to my normal non-aesthetic bathroom. The first thing that I'm gonna be doing is hair, as I do with all my transformation videos. The problem is that I don't actually know how to recreate this hair. I mean, look at this. But I, I have a perm, but it's kind of worn off by now because I've had it for like nine months or something like that. So I am, I gotta figure out how to do that. I'll, I'll be right back. How to get 80s hair, get it to stay big, so yeah. This which you can get at the dollar store. Okay, so here we are. Make sure all my layers and everything. Okay, after watching plenty of tutorials, um, I'm basically an expert. I still don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna curl my hair in really small chunks and then brush it out and hairspray it and make it look big. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna use this Conair Instant Heat Curling Iron. Um, I'm assuming it was made in the 80s because this thing is ancient, but we're just going back to our roots, you know, really embracing the theme of the video, so. Okay, so I it is warmed up. I'm really tempted to just grab it so I can feel something again. I'm just gonna take out my hair, oh my god. So I'm gonna start with the bottom layer and do like super, super tiny ringlets, if you will. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Heat protectant, yay, okay. I'm just trying to get like super close to my scalp, as close as I can get without burning myself. And then just doing like super small ringlets. Okay, I'm done with the first layer and I forgot how thick my hair is just like me just kidding this is gonna take a lot longer than i thought but the first layer is done and now i'm gonna coat it with a thick layer of hairspray i can hear my hair screaming the things i do for you guys <sighs> okay layer two is done now i'm gonna hairspray that down My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna finish this up while I let the battery charge, and I will update you guys when I'm done. Okay, done with that. So again, I'm just gonna... So now's the fun part. I'm gonna use this wet brush and just make it poofy. Okay. <laughs> Now that it's nice and poofy, I'm gonna go in with some more hairspray and flip my head and just hairspray the underneath so that it's even bigger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why do I kind of like this? Okay. Um, all right, well now that that's done, I guess we're just gonna move right into makeup. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so I looked at the photos and my mom doesn't really have any makeup on. I also realized that I'm not blonde, so we may have to be doing a little Photoshop on that one. I'm just gonna do some corrective makeup, just like normal corrective makeup, I guess. So I have my concealer stick. It's actually not mine, it's my sister's. Shocker from Clinique. Okay, I thought I had a beauty blender, but I don't. So I am just gonna use my fingers. Eyebrows, 
I definitely get my eyebrows from my mom, that's for sure. I'm gonna do a little bit of glitter in the inner corner. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of contour. Highlighter. Then of course, I'm gonna use mascara. And lastly, I'm just gonna use a little bit of lip gloss and call it a day. Okay, this is the final look. And we are going to move on to the dress. Okay, so the dress. So I think this is the best part about this entire transformation is that my mom actually kept her prom dress. She still has it. It's in our other room and I'm gonna go grab it. So I'll be right back. Here she is in all of her glory. I actually did try this on and wanted to wear it for my prom last year, but it doesn't really fit and we didn't have enough time to get it altered, which is a bummer, but maybe I will for my senior prom. Let's hope that happens. Okay, this is the dress, except it gets better. There's a hoop skirt. Okay, there we go. Now this is, this is it. Like I said, uh, it doesn't exactly fit. That's okay, you know? A girl can dream. So the next thing that I noticed was in the photos is my mom has a pearl necklace on and I think I have one. So I'm gonna take these off and then put that on. Okay, so I found this one, which is pretty similar. My mom, this one has two, but the one she was wearing only has one, but. Okay, there we go. Okay, the last piece of jewelry that I have to fix are my earrings because she had in these little like daisy flower earrings. I don't know if I have any like that. The closest thing I could find were these little earrings. They're just like these little star ones, but I think they should work. Now we have the necklace. We've got everything except for one thing, the gloves. Got those two, so. We have the full look. Not gonna put on shoes because I don't really need them. Now it's time to do the fun part, recreating the photos. I took a couple photos because my mom has a bunch in an album. Um, the problem is that I can't really go see anybody because, you know, quarantine. I'm probably just gonna end up photoshopping myself into these, except there is one I can do where she's on her own. This one in her car, in the car in whichever car she's in but yeah that's what we're gonna do so let's go i'm just gonna use my phone because her photos are obviously not like professional quality either i have a nice camera but i'm just gonna use my phone it's easier the first photo that i'm gonna recreate is the one with her date where she's like she's just chilling no she's facing this way i'm just gonna put my timer on my phone Okay, my arm is too bent, so I gotta like flatten it more. I think the angle is too low, so I'm gonna try to get a higher angle. Okay, that one was perfect. I think I did that one almost perfect. Now I wanna do the car one, but it is raining outside, which is not very cash money of the rain. I'm just gonna do this inside and then Photoshop myself into a car. So let's, let's do that. Okay, I actually think those turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna edit those and do some Photoshop magic and I will get back to you. This is my mom's photo and this is my photo. So that's the first one. I think they look pretty good. And then this is my mom's photo and then this is my photo. So overall, I think they turned out pretty good. I don't know. I haven't edited them yet at this point. So to all of you lovely people out there whose prom was canceled or delayed or whatever else, um, my best wishes to you. Try to find the light in the situation. Obviously, it's really hard right now, but um, I believe in you. You got this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like me or if you like this video. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That would be greatly appreciated to help me in my goal. Um, leave a like and comment down below what kind of videos you want to see from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.